Greetings. Georgia is changing the law on labor migrants. From September 1st, the Georgian government will have the right to restrict the involvement of foreigners in jobs that do not require highly skilled labor. Along with this, the government can encourage the recruitment of highly qualified specialists from abroad in those specialties that are lacking in the local market. The contract with labor migrants will be registered in the database of the Ministry of Labor within 30 days after its conclusion by the employer. A foreign citizen registered in the database will be able to obtain a residence permit at work. Today, on August 19, the Transfiguration of the Lord is celebrated in Georgia, Paris's Valaba, one of the 12 main holidays of the Orthodox Church. Tbilisoba holiday will be held on September 30th and October 1st. The events will take place on Orbeliani Square, Reich Park and the Palace of State Ceremonies. Tbilisi City Hall will spend more than 3 million lari for the events. Georgia has completely stopped deliveries of cars to Russia, including cars imported to Georgia from Armenia. Armenian car dealers say that the ban on the export and re-export of European cars to the Russian Federation through Georgia officially comes into force on September 26, but unofficially is already in effect. A record passenger traffic was recorded at Kutaisi International Airport in July, about 190,000 passengers. A feature film, The Witness, was released, which tells about the special operation of the Russian Federation in Ukraine. Film directed by David Dadanashvili. The protagonist is a violinist from Belgium, who went on tour to Kyiv, but finds himself in a story based on the tragic events in Bukha. The total losses of the Russian Federation and Ukraine during the special operation in Ukraine reached 500,000 people. Good luck to all of you.